once a year in my church. We have a preach-off. White folks don't know what they are. You get about five, six preachers and you preach back to back to see who's best. You never say that, right? You never say it. You say it's for the glory of God. And it was my turn, and I don't want to brag people, but I was good. I mean, I started preaching, and the deacons started yelling, preach, and the women were yelling, well, and, and, and the men were yelling, keep going, and I feed on that stuff. Uh, I kept getting better and better and better. I feed on that stuff. When I sat down, my pastor hit my knee. He said, you did all right? You did all right. I said, you're next, pastor. You going to be able to top that? He just laughed. He said, son, sit back. Because the old man is going to do you in. I didn't think he could pull it off. He got up and for the next half hour, that sucker did me in. I couldn't believe it. He did it in with one line over and over again. It's Friday. But Sunday's coming. It didn't sound like much when he started. You guys often start so slow and low gear. It takes you about five minutes to get into high gear. Friday, he said, Jesus was dead on the cross. But that's because it was Friday. Sunday's coming. Somebody yelled, keep going, keep going. That's all he needed. He took off. Friday, Friday people are saying as things have been, so they shall be. You can't change things in this world. But I'm here to give you the good news. It's only Friday. Sunday's coming. Yeah, you're getting into it. We've got to de the rest of this group. Friday. Friday they're saying a bunch of old people meeting in the church on a Saturday morning cannot alter things in their communities and in their state and in their world. But here gives the good news. It's only Friday. Sunday's coming. Now, let's get into it, people. Let's hang loose. I'll give you one more shot. It's Friday. And they're saying a bunch of Baptists who are limping into a meeting, cannot go out energized, ready to invade their communities with the good news of the gospel and the power of the Holy Spirit. But I'm here to tell you, it's only Friday! Sunday's coming! He went on like that for an hour. When he finished, I was exhausted. He ended that sermon yelling at the top of his lungs, Friday! Without hesitation, that whole congregation yelled back, Sunday's coming! That's the good news, people. Are we ready to leave this assembly and go back to our churches and mobilize our people to invade the community? And are we as individuals ready to say, my primary citizenship is in the kingdom and I'm going to live according to the values and the lifestyle prescribed by Jesus. I'm going to reject Babylon. I will not be conformed to this world. I'm going to be transformed by the Holy Spirit to live out the will of God in this day and in this age and in this time. And are you ready? That was rather weak. Let me try that again. Are you ready? Yes. The good news is then, it's only Friday, boy.